Hello everybody, it is Friday and I just finished work. It is 6 p.m. The best time of day for me in the entire week because that means I don't have to work for the next 48 hours. And no, I don't think 48 hours is enough. I am in dire need of some time alone. I feel like you guys are cooking. Maybe. If you guys don't know, Aiden is my boyfriend and he's actually going to Paris without me. He decided to ask me if I wanted to have dinner with him tonight since it is the last night that he's here before he leaves and he's gonna be gone for a week. I have a huge dinner with like 10 people tomorrow night, which I'm super excited for because I haven't seen that entire group of friends in a while, I wanna say. On Sunday, I do have a lunch planned with my elementary school friend, Marilyn. I absolutely adore her. She is in med school. Ooh. Once did think I was gonna be in med school to become a dermatologist or be in veterinary medicine and become a veterinarian. That did not happen. And now I work at an influencer agency. Anyways. She's in med school, she's busy, so I always try to accommodate her schedule. I wanna say I see her maybe three, four, five times a year in a complete year, yeah. Known each other for forever and it's just nice having those kind of friends where you don't ever have to worry about anything changing between the two of you. I thought I'd hop on here and actually just like do a little intro. If you guys are new here, my name is Heather and I post every Friday and I do vlogs. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you guys so close to 2K. So close, like eight subscribers away from 2K. It is 6.08 and Aiden's supposed to be here around seven. So I'm just gonna change and then I will bring you guys along with me. Manager or owner of the sushi place has seen Aiden and I since we were like 15. Aww. I kid you not, when we broke up, and we would go separately, the manager would ask about us, like, oh, where's your boyfriend? I did not have the heart to tell this man that we broke up. And when Aiden and I got back together further down the road, we went back and he's like, oh, I haven't seen you in so long. And he's like saying how we were all grown up and stuff. He's always been so kind and nice and like amazing service. We love it. If you're ever in Markham, go to Gal Sushi. I am gonna go put on some pants because I literally never wear pants. Like I literally just don't wear pants at home. I'll speak to you guys when I go and pick up Aiden. Oh no, the lighting's poopy doopy. The we lighting found is him. Poopy Hello. Oh God, that person's very oh close. Lord. He's going hard there. going into the other place because that place doesn't have tapioca. Anyone who drinks bubble tea without tapioca, you're weird. You might as well just go get a Starbucks, okay? Go buy a bottle of juice. Okay, well, we're gonna go somewhere else now. I like okay. this. Just I like this. Time. No, it does. These are interesting. These are some interesting finds. Okay, <laughs> two minutes. He's only giving me two minutes here because he doesn't like the makeup aisle. <laughs> You're wasting my time. <laughs> right on me. Howdy, partner. <laughs> oh my god, Clifford. Aiden, do you watch this? This is my favorite, my favorite player on the Leafs. Is it so with them? Yeah, it's so <laughs> I don't know anything about hockey. Do you know what his name is? How am I supposed to know this? Do you know who this is? Coco Melon. I want to be Coco, Coco Melon for Halloween. <laughs> Fortnite, Fortnite. Fortnite. What is that? It's a character. This thing's scary. This is great. Can I get back up? <laughs> it's Ada. Please tell me you guys recognize these things off TikTok. Makes random funny ass skits with these things. Aiden, have you never seen these on your For You page? Why would Spider-Man ever play basketball beside Green Goblin? He's a friggin' super villain. <laughs> Flip. I loved Polly Pocket. It was like my favorite doll growing up. And then I gave them all away because my mom forced me to. Can you give me this? What the fuck is that? You want that? Yeah. <laughs> Hurry, I'm a child. This mirror is a little sus. Kind of weird drawings on here. Kind of a little sus. No one make fun of me because I don't have the mini Uggs and these are from like 2014. Let me hang this up. These are men's oh. jeans. Oh, this feels so uncomfortable. Yeah. I hate wearing pants on top of pants. Do you remember when you do this for recess? Yeah. Wait, why are they kind of like tight? Because you have another pair of pants on. Baby, you just bought jeans that are like the same wash. You have two to three pairs that look just like that. What do you think about these? They're nice, silly goose. These are $20. Yeah, because they're too big for you. 
Do you like them on me? But like, will they be tight on your thigh? How tight they are on mine? <laughs> yeah, true. I think I would have to get the 32s. <laughs> So I don't drink the bubble tea anymore. These are actually cute. What the hell? If I knew this, I would just buy these all the time. Are you gonna get them, Aiden? I don't know. I'm worried that they won't fit my thighs. It's 10 o'clock in Walmart and Aiden's stripping. Hey. Good morning everybody. I just got ready for the day, very quick and basic. I didn't put on any makeup because I am planning to go to the gym. I am just having lunch first with my parents, just hang out with them for the weekend since I am home. I was actually looking at vitamins because I get very like seasonally depressed, especially with how gloomy it is. And I'm sure you guys saw in some of the clips, like it's just so cold and gray. I hate it. I didn't take any just because I do fast and certain vitamins are fat soluble. You have to take some of the vitamins with food in order for it to be absorbed. Certain vitamins are water soluble. So if you're fasting, it's okay to take. I just prefer to take them all at once if I can. I was hoping to go to a health food store because I was looking into creatine and like just like supplements and whatnot. Currently, I don't don't really take any supplements other than protein. At one point I was like obsessed with pre-workout. Now I work out at six and I really just don't think it's healthy to take pre-workout at that time. Really did not see any benefits reaping from that. I do have BCAs. I don't take them very often, mainly because I just don't love the ones that I have. I'm going to the health food store after I go to lunch because I'll just be too full to start working out immediately after. And then I'll be able to hit legs as I do every weekend because you guys know I only film on weekends. And then I should be home around like four, 4.30. In that case, I'll be getting ready to go out, I'll shower and do my makeup and whatnot, and then I'm having dinner with Evaz and a couple of people. Let's go to lunch now. How are you enjoying your car ride? Very good. Take these huge pills. These are big. I have problems swallowing pills. Mm -mm. I can't do it. Water it is. I'm so bad at this. I'm so extra. That one literally dissolved in my mouth before I can even swallow it. Soba, do you want a treat? Oh my god, you idiot. <laughs> Here, you didn't even eat it. <laughs> Thank you.
I look just like him. These are my lobsters. Hold my coins. And I need to get that. Hold up. I got 90 coins. Oh. Heather. I need this. I need a win. Well, stop swinging so much. Like, if you look at the pink one, there's a little pink one. Oh my god. It's right there, though. Heather, what the hell? Where did this come from? Yeah, but you can move this around. Usually two on one side. One on one That's side. That's what I'm trying. You can also do one on one and then one at the bottom, but it won't hold for long. Oh, I don't like that. No pressure. Oh, 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 oh. That was yeah. terrible. Oh, <laughs> rotate and then it turns away from it. This is devastating. It is. Oh, no! Oh, my God, Jerry! Oh, my God. Hi. I need a cigarette. No, this is the one. The guy said this is probably the best choice. Oh, oh my God! It's not gonna happen anymore. Come on, baby. Oh no. My brother won his girlfriend a huge thing. Oh, bastard. <laughs> nope. We're almost out, bro. <laughs> you chose the hardest I'm toy. I'm sorry. I thought this one would be easier. It's a cylinder. No. No. Yes. Fucking cut. Yeah, I'll make it. You oh my god. I have no more tokens. I'll give me one more. Okay. I have two coins though. I can put two in. That's no, okay. I'm gonna mess up too. Two more just in case. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so stressed now. Come on. Claw me, baby. A little over there. Yeah. No. Oh. 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 Turn, please. Wait. You're feeding my addiction. I'll just buy the toy off you. Look at this. I did it, Heather. I got it for you. No, he's still there. I'm out of tokens. Last chance. Last chance, okay. Maybe last chance, okay? Got there's, this. there's a crowd. Don't even need to swing the clock. We got this. We got this. Yeah. Yes! I got it. Yes! He wants me. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up. It is about nine o'clock. I was planning to go to the gym, but honestly, like my legs are so, so sore from doing legs yesterday. Last night was super fun. It's just always nice hanging out with a group of friends because it's so refreshing. Everyone has such a unique personality. Everyone just always has such a great laugh when they're together. How important it is to have a diverse friend group, not only in like culture and background, but just like your thoughts and your opinions and learn so much more because of how diverse your friend group is. And everyone's just so intelligent in that friend group in different ways and I love it. Without Ifaz, I would never have met obviously his brothers or any of their friends. Oh my god, when we were winning this little guy here, it was so funny. Worker there just really did not want to see us lose, so he kept letting us play for free. We were probably just being so loud in there because we were getting so frustrated. People inside were starting to gather and watch us because they thought it was so funny. It brought everyone together. Literally everyone in the store cheered. We named him Bob. So I think one of the things that is hard about being in a relationship sometimes is that you do have to really divide your time. I've been there before where I haven't necessarily prioritized my friends because I want to spend a copious amount of time with Aiden or my boyfriend. It's just so important, so, so important to have other relationships in your life. If that relationship does ever end, you will feel very like lonely and isolated. I think what's made it better was actually the fact that like Aiden and I broke up and had some time apart realizing that like we didn't necessarily need to be together 24 hours because I feel like you, you do need space and it's natural to have space. What's also helped a little bit is actually like us being like a medium distance relationship. We don't see Aiden Monday through Thursday and then I'll just be there on the weekends. Those days I have to myself and I get to do things on my own. I get to have dinners with my friends. Even if I am at Aiden's on a weekend and my friends want to do something, I just don't really have any hesitation to say yes and I, I make an effort to make that time for them. It's important to have other friendships, but just don't sit around waiting until your partner's busy to see your friends. That's like another key thing. You'll always prioritize someone who you think deserves your time. And I think that's one of like the hardest realizations when you get a significant other is, oh, maybe my friends don't treat me the best. Whereas there's definitely been times where I've had friends where like, they're so nitpicky about the times that you can hang out with them. They don't try to include you in everything. And then they go and do things with your friends, they choose to do things with only three out of like the five people in the friend group kind of deal. Goes to show like, are they really your friend or 
are they your friend when it's convenient for them? You know, friendships are hard. Just like you can have toxic relationships, you can have toxic friendships. Oh my god, I can't believe this, but I had bubble tea two days in a row, and that's crazy for me because I actually don't ever have bubble tea very often anymore. Um, update on the creatine. I did take it. Dehydrated within the hour. My mouth was so dry, and like I'm pretty dehydrated right now. I am doing a loading phase. What is that noise? I'm probably gonna get ready, but I'm gonna see Marilyn today and hang out with her for two hours or so. And then I do have to come home and film a little video. I don't know what's happening. I'm getting dinner around 6 37 with my parents. We're going to a little oyster bar. Apparently it's really popular. I think it's called Diana's. I have not ate the healthiest this weekend. I've literally gone out for dinner Friday, lunch on Saturday, dinner on Saturday, now I'm going out for lunch again and dinner again. Uh, so you gotta live a little bit. I'm gonna get up now and brush my teeth. I need to blow my nose and drink some water. Let's wake up. Let's actually get up now. So I'm done getting ready. I am about to head out to meet up with Marilyn. I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. It's super oversized and I'm just wearing these Levi's. I'm gonna wear my Boston's. Bestie's nails, she did them herself. Don't get my thumbs though. <laughs> Wait, is it Megan Fox thumbs? Megan Fox thumbs. <laughs> Hello, so I am back home now, just about to record a video. Me and Marilyn actually sat in the car for quite a while just to like talk. I miss her a lot. I also do apologize if you hear noise in the background. My neighbors have been annoyingly renovating their backyard and it's just been like constant noise for the past like week. I will talk to you guys when I am done filming. I just finished filming my video and I'm still drinking my little matcha latte, but I'm gonna be going out for dinner shortly. I'm just gonna lay down and go on my phone for a little bit because I am quite tired. I like a little pimple. It's 4.15 in the morning. I hit 2K. 2001 actually. Celebrate. Good times, come on. Hi everybody. So I have just been editing since I got home from dinner, but I want to hop on here and say thank you guys so much for 2000 subscribers. Didn't actually expect to hit it today, even though I was very, very close, but I honestly could not have done any of this without any of you guys. So I really appreciate all of you guys supporting me and really just supporting my channel. I've been working towards this goal for a while. And so it just feels like a very large accomplishment. So thank you guys so much. And I'm going to end the vlog here. If you are new here and you want to be a part of the family, we have have surpassed the 2k mark but I'd still love for you guys to be here and I can't wait for the next milestone with all of you guys I love all of you and I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog mm -hmm.